My name is Stephen Wagstaff, and I live in Waterville, New Brunswick. Back in 1996, uh, as a 19-year-old, I had a diving accident in northern Ontario, and um, when I hit the bottom of the sandbar, I instantly broke my fifth vertebrae in my neck, causing instant paralysis as a C5 quad. When I first found out that I was going to be paralyzed, I was actually really torn up about how my family was going to take it. We were a super close family that had just gone through a number of cancer diagnoses and deaths. And then um, there was just denial that it was going to be something that was going to last a long time. I didn't know it was okay to cry, uh, but soon learned that that was some of the best therapy that I could ever have. Hold. Um, I had been here yeah. about 10 years and run into some health issues. And um, the local doctor I was dealing with um, knew of a place that could treat me um, more thoroughly than he could, uh, called the Stan, the Stan Cassidy Center. And he was pretty adamant that I get down there to where there was a team approach of doctors and a whole staff. I first met Steven when he was referred to our adaptive gaming program called Game Changers in 2021. He was participating in various programs throughout the building, but um, I was involved with the Game Changers aspect. Um, the Game Changers team is myself, the rehab engineer, uh, an occupational therapist, Marla Calder, and Laura Olford, our recreational therapist. I was unable to get through to the course of people asking me different questions and me being open to trying new things. Uh, I was introduced to Rachel and the Game Changers team and uh, from there it was just a natural a fit that we just continued conversation and started working on projects together. Um, so we set him up with a variety of different adaptive gaming solutions that he could test out and try, uh, see what would work well for him. And Steven was super keen and interested in exploring and um, advocating for what would work well for him. And he actually took a lot of initiative on his own to um, jump on board with the technology that worked best for him. and kind of even take it one step further and um, work directly with me for programming it and setting it up for his specific needs. It's been awesome. Steven's a patient that uh, gives a little boost of extra inspiration because he is so positive and creative and wanting to participate so much in his own solutions. Um, it's not very often that you meet someone who wants to learn how to code, um, let alone for their own gaming and accessibility needs. There's no reason you can't have some sort of meaningful impact in life with where technology is nowadays. There's, there's just no way, and I say that because I was at a point where I had no movement from the shoulders down for the longest time and um, just having the joy of being able to communicate by a computer to places I couldn't go was enough to get me up and motivated for the day. So it came around in the end to that technology isn't such a bad thing after all.